Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. Your back just came and found out finally on views. A multimillionaire at home. We should just build this here. And Messi Aibe, a colleague, also welcomed Kemi to the landlady's club. Messi Aibe took to her social media platform and shared photos from this luxurious interior of the multimillionaire new home that Kemi Afelabi just built. And this mom of two welcomed Kemi to the club of landladies and wish there are more of this in the future. This was exactly what she shared. Big congratulations, friend me, Kemi Afolabi Adeshikbe, on your latest achievements. Welcome to the landladies club. More to come in Jesus' mighty name. And some hours ago, Biola Adebaya shared this on her social media platform and even brought the attention to so many people that Kemi Afolabi already built her own new home. And she said, congratulations to my baby Anota. My heart is filled with so much joy and happiness, darling. May this be the beginning of a major breakthrough in your life and family by God's grace. Keep shining, sister. Kemi Afolabi Adeshipe. This show by actress Kemi Afolabi starts this new year with building our own house. And today she's a landlady. So we are also joining in saying congratulations to this Yoruba actress Kemi Afolabi Adeshipe who is the new landlady in town. Please stay with us tomorrow if you still want to know about this new landlady in town, Kemi Afolabi. Kemi Afolabi is known to so many people as a famous Yoruba star. But what exactly do you know about her? She was born on April 28, 1978 in Lagos, Nigeria, and she does not care to hide her age. She's currently 42 years old. She attended Towa Shinojo Primary School to receive her primary education and her secondary school education at Our Lady of Apostle School, and A to Z International School. Later on, Kemi attended the University of Lagos, where she received her LLB Honors degree in law. So she was studying to become a lawyer. But when she was in her final year at Unilag, students from the Department of Creative Arts invited Kemi to participate in their theater production. That show must have been a huge success because Kemi decided that maybe law was not really exactly what she wanted to do with her life. So she went into acting instead. The very first movie she started in was Alagba. However, not very long after that, Kemi took a big break and leaving the industry for nearly five years. It seems, however, that that break did not have any negative impact on her career. Whilst Kemi was away, she was busy writing a movie script. So when she returned, she was ready to produce a lot of movies. In 2016, her efforts were recognized as she won the Best Yoruba Actress of the Year at the 2016 City People Movie Awards, as well as the Most Prominent Actress at the 2016 Oudua Image Awards. In addition to that, she received the Best Yoruba Movie Producer of the Year Award at the City People Awards. Kemi also has a home production company called Cass and D Entertainment. This actress has a lot of interest outside of her work. She's a mom of two and has been happily married for years now. Kemi is also a fashionista. You can spot her wearing designer clothes and accessories. For a long period of time, Kemi chose to not share the details of her personal life with the public, even though she was happily married. People kept speculating about it until she finally came out to address the rumors. And it turned out that she had long been married to her husband from the UK, Wale Adishikbe. Kemi is happily married as mentioned earlier and blessed with two lovely daughters. Kemi then revealed that her husband is an engineer and a building contractor. While Adishiba is a graduate of Luton University of Bedfordshire and he's also a very quiet person, which is probably why Kemi decided to hide him for so long. The couple met like a decade ago in Inubado at an engagement ceremony of one of Kemi's friends. They ate it up quite fast and soon they got engaged. You might remember that Kemi was away from the movie scene for a very long time. That was when she had her engagement. Kemi and Wale had a small and quiet wedding ceremony at Okota in Lagos State, which was held in Kemi's father's house. Not long after that, she found out that she was pregnant, so her husband took her to the UK to have their first child. About 10 years ago, a little girl by the name Dara Simi was born. Around the same time, Kemi's wedding happened, but it was also a very small family affair, so there were no pictures on social media platforms. However, about two years ago, Kemi decided not to hide her family any longer. And she even added her husband's name to a name on her social media platform and changed it from Kemi Afalabi to Kemi Afalabi Adeshipe. So she started posting lovely photos of her family. She also admitted that the bond between herself and her husband is incredibly strong, even despite all the controversies that come with acting career. Kemi is a talented actress, devoted wife, and a wonderful mom. Also, Kemi shared the news when she welcomed her second daughter, Nadia. Nadia became one month old on October 14, 2019. And she also shared lovely pictures on the 41 Days celebration. And in 2020, 
Kemi Afalabi celebrated Nadia's very first birthday. So why did Kemi Afalabi opt for a quiet wedding? A lot of celebrities are opting for quiet weddings and secret weddings. Well, this actress disclosed in an interview where she opted for a secret wedding. According to her, she decided to settle down with her man because she thought it was necessary at the time to do so. And she revealed to Bola on her data here that she wouldn't really call it a secret wedding because she invited a number of people to attend the occasion and her parents were in attendance. The reason is that she does not want a big party for herself and she and her husband decided to invite only very important people to grace the occasion. She didn't want a big party, so she didn't make any noise about it. The engagement, as mentioned earlier, held at Kemi's father's house in the quarter area of Lagos State. Though a very quiet one, her husband is based in the UK, so she went there to join him so that they could start their lives afresh. She had a baby girl in the UK shortly after the engagement, and she got pregnant and went to put to bed in the UK. In the year 2019, it was reported that this actress was hospitalized in Maraca in Saudi Arabia, where she went for the annual hatch. But then she was said to have been rushed to the hospital after falling ill due to the stress associated with the hatch exercise. The nation reported that Kema Felabi was showing symptoms of illnesses while in Medina. She was seen sleeping in the bus during Zira. Also, Kemi joined the other pilgrims to some of the sites. At other sites, she sat on the bus. It was learnt that eight hours drive from Medina to Maka took a toll on Kemi, and the nation said that she slept in the Maka Holy Mosque after the Umrah exercise to engage in some other acts of worship. According to a medical practitioner attached to the Lagos State Muslim Pilgrims Welfare Board, Dr. Abi Dinaro, Kemi Felabi had symptoms such as fever, headache, loss of appetite, and weakness. Unknown to the media and the entire public, Kemi was already pregnant with her second child, Nadia. Also, Kemi Afalabi did something unique by having an all-female cast movie a while ago, adding that she used this to address some issues surrounding women and relationships, addressing the idea behind this movie. She said, I got the idea for my recent movie when I saw the need to reach out to women going through one phase or the other in their relationships and with their spouses and their lives. I wanted to reach out to this medium to prefer my own solution. I wanted to give women a voice. I wanted them to know that there is a reason why God created men and women to coexist. I wanted them to know that we need one another, regardless of how bad a person's character is. I thought to myself that how did our grandparents cope in the, in the kind of scenarios they found themselves? I realized that patience is a virtue. It is not everything that happens in the home that should make people want to walk out of their marriage. We have to learn to coexist and handle our relationships by dealing with each other with wisdom. If women continue working out of relationships, they don't know what they're going to face in the next relationship. Above all, patience is key. So this is a little bit about Kemi Afalabi and her background. I've come to the end of this episode, today where Kemi Afalabi completed and unveiled a new multi-millionaire home. And also our colleague Mesa Ibe welcomes her to the Land Ladies Club. We hope you enjoyed this episode and learned one or two new things. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.